Hey all, welcome to Bro Billionaire. This is Raghu. Hope you're able to see the screen here. Uh, before going further, wish you all a very happy Yugadi Guri Parva. Uh, this is a new year uh, for most of the Indians. So I wish you uh, a very happy, prosperous, healthy new year. And today I'm going to bring you a new video. Now this is, uh, as the video says, how to trade as a professional. What do you mean by a professional? So uh, this is my third third take today. So uh, if I talk more, most of you won't be able to see it, but um, I'm making it very clear. This is for people who are making money, but not able to understand the probability and losing it. Uh, this is for people uh, who are making very less money. Now, if you see my how I have performed, you know that since last year, I have never lost any month. Now, this is this year, January 22 to April, right? Now, April has just started. Now, this is the amount I have made. What is the amount I, I have told you several times? It's 50,000. My, my deployment capital is 50, extra 10, 15 would be there to cover any losses if I incur because trading is always a risk. Now, how many times I lost in January? Three. How many times I lost in February? One, two, three, four, five. How many times I lost in March? One, two, three, four, five. So out of 20 days, so majority of times I make small money. As you know, I'm a part-time trader. This is not to brag that uh, I'm, I'm a superstar. No, definitely not. This is to instill confidence in you. Now, why, how much that 50K has made five times higher, but two, two times of that 50K, that's almost one lakh has gone to taxes and charges. That is because I had told you that I want to become a full-time trader. And as a part-time trader, because of full-time working, I have a particular time or whenever when I, a, get free time, I need to spot a trade and make money. Now this is scalping. Now even in scalping, some people keep a one is to one, one is to two. But according to me, scalping is the moment you make money, you exit. So my, my target is if I'm making 5% to 10% out of three, four trades on that particular day, 5% to 10% of capital, I'm done. Now, if I have to become a full-time trading, I have to cut down the scalping habit. I have to think like a professional, think the probability. And out of all the 20, 30 strategies, I need to narrow down and have only three, four high probability strategies and keep trading them. Now, please and please do understand, trading is very, very boring. You know, why most of the retailers lose money is because they don't have patience. The moment markets start going sideways, they will lose patience, they will exit, they will not wait for stop loss, they know there is stop loss, but they will not wait. Now this method, rule number one, you are going to pick a side. Pick a side in the sense, now whatever you follow. So I follow Cambrilla pivots. I have done the Cambrilla pivots video several times. Now just to quickly tell you, uh, S3 is buying, S4 is buying, R3 is selling, R4 is selling, the key important candle pivots. Below S3, sell, below R3, uh, sell, below S4, breakout, above R4, buy, above R3, buy. This is the 20 day simple moving average. These dots are previous day high, previous day low, and the yellow dots are previous week high low. Now, these are all important pivots. Now, with the market context, if we, if we take uh, the last two days, right? Last two days, are we upside or downside? Now, according to me, I have told you the Cambrilla pivots will tell you which side to go. And you can keep that side as a stop loss, usually 20 MA, about 20 MA. I would prefer upside, below 20 MA, downside. Likewise, S3 is buying. Now, S3, a big candle, a strong candle is breaking the 20 MA. So I'm on buy side. Now, how do I want to buy? Now, rule is, thumb rule is, once you identify the side on the index chart, whatever chart you're following, I want you to go to the Option chart. So this is uh, 36,500, right? This is 36,500 CE. I want you to go to 36,500 CE. Go for the first five minutes, right? First five minutes. Don't use any of this. Mark the high and low. I mean, if you mark this way, trust me, there is more 
time than you think available in the market. There is more time. The moment you mark this, most of the times, imagine that only 33% of the time, option buyer has the probability of making money because every day is not a trendy day, right? So in that scenario with these statistics, if you just keep the first five minutes high and low, and on this for bank Nifty, go with 50 point stop loss. And for Nifty, keep 25 point stop loss, fixed stop loss. If you do back testing, you would understand. Now this is, um, I'm not able to show this is a big candle. When you have a very big candle, either you can ignore it or keep 50 point stop loss. Now when will the trade trigger? The trade triggers the moment the candle goes above it. Now here you might ask, should I wait for five minutes close? Should I enter immediately? So here, now my take is, both are disciplined. You can wait for five minutes close, but suppose if there is a big candle, especially in bank nifty above 50 points, then your stop loss will be increasing, right? So rather I would say the moment a candle breaks upside, enter because you have a stop loss, you have picked a side. If you want to make money, market has to go in your direction. Hope you understand what is stop loss. It's a probability game, right? It's okay. So what is your stop loss? 50 points per lot means 1,250. What is your target? One is to two. At least go for one is to two, I'm telling you. Minimum, don't book small profit. Go for one is to two. Even with this, you could have made one is to two. 474 in the sense, I should go for 420, right? This should be my stop loss, around 25. Sorry, 50 points, right? A 370, yeah, this is around 50 points. See, 370 and 100 points. 370, okay. 425 should be there, okay. This should be the stop loss. Now, with this stop loss, you can go for one is to two. It's almost hit. Now, how much bank nifty went? One is to seven. Okay. By the end of the day, it went one is to seven. Will you get one is to seven every day? Is every day a, a trendy day? See the previous two days. The previous two days is what? Range day. Now, why this method? I'll tell you in a while. Now here you can implement one strategy. If you are a new trader, I strictly advise you to stick to only one lot, one to two trades or three trades per day. Suppose if it comes and hit your stop loss, you're not going to take counter trade on short side. You're not experienced enough there, but your next trade on the long will uh, trigger only when again, when the high of first five minutes breaks. Again, go for, one is to two profit. That is how you will be making money, all right? Now, the previous day, okay, if you consider, I will, I will give you the same example, 31st, just, just for example, you need to take ATM, okay? The previous day market is a red candle, breaking R3. So suppose we are short because below R3 is selling. So if you're short, the trade should trigger below the low of the first five minutes candle, right? Below this is the, what is this? Okay, this is C, man, I want P. Anyway, let us let me take Nifty instead of wasting time. C, E, uh, this is Nifty. R3 breaks, okay, below selling. So this, what is the ATM price is 17,500P. Do I have 17,500P? See, I have got only C, man. Okay, let me open 17,500P. Okay, I have it here. Just, just understand, this is not rocket science, okay? It's very simple to follow. Most of the novice traders, what they miss is, when the moment it is simple, they want some complicated methods. That is where they go wrong. All right. See this one. 30th, right? Previous day was 30th. First five minutes. Your trade triggers only when it goes above it. It triggered, came back, hit your stop loss. 
When did the next day trigger? Next day triggered here, right? Again, he did the stop loss. There's no trade here. Now, what I mean to tell here is in between, if you have taken a, uh, what do you call buy trade? So on this trade, we were short. Say if you wanted to buy trade, you may think here on Nifty index chart, okay, we come to S3, I will buy, I sell here. Fair enough, you can do that. Watching this price action, definitely you can do that. But as a professional, understand, Whenever price is between R3 and S3 is range bound, you're not going to get big money, especially in Nifty, you will be implementing five to 10 points of scalping. When you have to go big, when the range is broken here, see the previous two days range, if I make it small, this is very, very important. When this range is broken, the high, high of previous day, market gives big move until then it will be sideways now when it gives big move here again if you're entering 25 point stop loss this is where you have to take the risk and go long this is what i wanted to show you now here watch this one okay this first five minute candle okay this is the first five minute candle of Nifty 17,537 to 169. So what did I say? I wanted around 25 points, right? So if it is one, 170 is the uh, thing, then it should be around 145. This should be a stop loss, 145. Usually we keep around 25, 30, the longer candle, but 145, if any candle is coming to 145, you should exit. Now assume that you enter here, your stop loss gets hits here, fair enough, allow it. When will the next trade get triggered on the long side? When the first five minutes breaks again, this is where. Now you will be entering again here. What will be your stop loss? What will be your target? One is to two. Now one stop loss hit, if you're not going to make one is to two, then you're not making money on that day. So from 10 a.m. till 125, 130 market was in sideway. Most of the folks here, either they exit trade multiple times, lose money and lose capital and confidence. But a person who has taken the stop loss and calmly enters again with the direction of the breakout can make big money. With experience, if you follow five EMA, Okay, you will have more money. So what technique I would advise here is on the option chart, keep this VWAP. This will give you the confidence. What is VWAP? Volume weighted moving average. You know on index we don't have. Now why the whole purpose of asking you to follow this, uh, the option trading chart, ATM, I'm preferring ATM, 25 point stop loss, mark the high end low of first five minutes. If you mark the high end low of first five minutes, it will give you even bigger confidence. Because the stop loss never hit here if you, if you have the courage to keep it. Right, the first jumbo candle pin bar, also red, it's showing the buying. See, once the price starts to sustain above VWAP, see, even here, even here, it's a red candle, but it fails to break the VWAP market boom. So, in between, you can watch. And Nifty is sideways, okay, it's above R4. What is above R4? Always a buy, but the chart you will be watching is this. This is the chart you will be watching because volume weighted moving average shows which side that ATM price is going, is the price increasing. If you remember, <coughs> I entered, uh, uh, yeah, I was in uh, 17,450, okay, 17,450, 195. So let's take here, 169, you enter here. Look at the price, 169, 194 around 25 points so one is to one uh, you got here then it comes back it is hovering at the buy price for predominant day after you enter if you're waiting for one is to two you're not getting one is to two so it's quite natural for you to get frustrated because you think market is not moving anywhere and you will think let me take the money small money so remember when you take the small money you should end your trade you should not get tempted to enter again but if you hold with stop loss, you will make money. So if remember uh, some of the times I told you uh, that when you 
make a coin toss 100 times when you toss a coin how many times you think you will win or how many times you think you will lose so this this i had showed in my previous chat as well i'm showing it again for you so when you toss you can do this it's a very uh, i mean most professionals do this when you put a toss majority of the time see here 56 wins 44 loss or it might be for, uh, 56 losses 44 wins now what does this tell this tells that you are not going to lose continuously it's the same thing in, in uh, gambling as well. Why most of the people get addicted to gambling and why most of the people think trading is gambling because they don't know anything. They don't know all this uh, nuance. They will just think, okay, if I keep trading, I will win once. That one win will give them hope. And they forget that there are tra trading is a profession and there are some rules and discipline to follow to make money. So then they lose all their capital and they will blame trading as gambling. But anyway, my point is, so you had 20 business days in a month. In the 20 business days, think it this way. To learn this method, you don't need capital more than 15K. Now, assume you're taking a stop loss continuously for five days. And, and trust me, most of the times, when you go here, right, most of the time, sometimes the trade itself will not trigger. So, for example, on this day, you were on short. Off or above is buying. Let's assume it's a big jumbo candle. You want to go short. Probably a trade itself will not trigger. Or you will have only one stop loss and then rest of the capital is with you because you're thinking in one particular direction, right? So, here, if you have buy side, all the option, the trade wouldn't have triggered. These are expired, I cannot show. But if you practice, you have money. So what I was telling, so five continuous stop loss, you will get hit. What is, say, like you're trading in Nifty or Bank Nifty, both, one, one lot. So 1,000, uh, 250. So instead 12,500 is for 10 trades, half of it is 6,000. 250. So you will be losing 6,250, 6,000 approximately if you continuously lose the entire week, five days. So next week you make one is to two or two days you make one is to two. So you have recovered almost 90% of your losses in two days. Now why I'm telling one is to one, one is to two. In this market, you have to give money to gain money. So the, the why I'm lecturing here is this is very important asset. This is for new traders as well as traders who want to make big money. Now this month, I want to show you that the profit screen, which I showed, right? That 50K has a potential to earn two lakhs to three lakhs per month in Nifty alone, Nifty alone. If you go into bank Nifty, maybe it may, it may bump up a little, but approximately but the way both are measured is it's almost equivalent for me. But yeah, bank Nifty moves faster. If you know how to trade bank Nifty and if bank Nifty is in trend, maybe 50,000 can become 5 lakh in a month. But to make it 5 lakh or to make it 10 lakh, you need to know a probability, right? Say for example, yesterday I was mentoring one of my friend so he, he, he traded very well. I mean, I got frustrated at 195, exited at 208 somewhere here, and then did not enter. And I was busy with my daughter six months uh, birthday celebration. Now here, he waited, booked the profit. He captured around 50 points. That is patience. Now, if you are patient, if you are willing to wait with stop loss, if you understand these magical pivots, if you know above R4 is always buying, if you know this peak, okay, this peak market has reversed. If market falls below R4, I am going to keep this peak as stop loss. You will make money. Now, forget about the previous peak, previous thing, everything. Assume that you are entering near the pivot, either bank nifty or nifty. Start keeping 25 points for Nifty and 50 points for Bank Nifty stop loss and see how it works. If you're not making money, I will quit trading. Thank you. Have a good day. Hope this video helps.